In this video, we will see how to create a chatbot graphical user interface from Chainlet and using a large language model, namely the Llama 7B model. We have seen a video before where we used the Llama locally and we created a chatbot from it. Since that video was released, now if I have to install Llama, we have to do pip install cpp python and this requires the file to be in the gguf format and not the ggml format that we have been using before august 25th of 2023 so first let's download the model in gguf format hugging face we need to install langchain and chainlet also the initial part is as simple as any langchain code let's import chainlet as cl and from langchain we need to import rom template and llm chain and to use the llm model from langchain.llms we import llama cpp we create an instance for llama cpp by providing the model path to the gguf file the next step is to create a template for the prompt the prompt we give a question and we pass the question as a parameter and then ask it to think step by step before giving the answer we have two components namely the user interface from chainlet and the llm from langchain which are going to communicate with one another to give us a required result first when the connection is established we have to make use of the decorator cl dot on chat start this decorator shows how to react when a connection is initially established so we need to instantiate the chain for this we create object from the prompt template by passing the template and the input variables then we create an object for the LLM chain by passing the prompt, the corresponding LLM, and I also need information about the progression of the chain. Now, these two are from Langchain and as usual, but when we use Chainlet, we need to pass the chain to the user session. So, in cl.user session, initially, we need to set the key and the value where the value has to be the object of the LLM chain. The key can be anything and here I've given the key also as LLM chain. So how does the chatbot react every time the user sends a message? For which we make use of the on message decorator in CL. This implements asynchronous method to which the message is passed from the user interface step one we need to retrieve the chain that is currently used in the user session by passing the key as i have mentioned earlier the key was also called as llm chain two functions are happening parallelly or asynchronously one is the chain has to be executed whenever the user gives an input and the message has to be got and sent to the chatbot user interface when the user types a message and clicks enter. To handle the work of the LLM chain asynchronously, we make use of the await keyword to show that it is an asynchronous function that we are calling. And then we call LLM chain with the a call function is used. Remember that also an a run function can be used. And the parameters that are to be passed are the message and it is essential to provide the appropriate callback handler because we are running the llm chain agent and since it is an asynchronous processing we have to make use of the async lang chain callback handler the result that is returned will have two parts it's basically a dictionary which will have the question and the text the question will have the prompt and the text will have the answer 
and we are interested only in the text or the answer. So the answer alone is again sent to the chatbot user interface. And this is also an asynchronous method. This is shown by the usage of the keyword await. Now let's run this function for which we use chainlet. Run. The name of the Python code is chainlet lama.py. And every time I make changes in the code, if I want the user interface to run, I use hyphen w. So now my app is available at the local host. In local host, we get the chainlet welcome screen, which can be changed by editing chainlet.md, which is we are the root of the project. Now let me say add two and three and click enter. And it says we know that the sum of two and three is five, so our answer should be five. Now let me ask. What is the antonym of good? It runs the LLM chain. After a considerable amount of time, it says the answer as we know that the antonym means opposite. So finally, it says that the antonym of good is bad. This user interface can be changed using chain lit. I can start a new chat with this. It'll just say that it'll clear the current messages and start a new chat and I can start from scratch again. The link for the model in GGUF format is found in the description below from which you can download the model of your choice. Thank you.